Hello and welcome back to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma and I'm a mum of three from the UK. Now this is a um, video that's a very, very different to what I usually vlog about, what I usually post videos about. If you have been here before, you know that I talk about home education and I talk about family life with two autistic children and one not autistic child. Um, but, um, Today is something incredibly different. This is just a short series of videos. I won't be doing this again, um, but they will be coming weekly, um, almost daily actually. Um, just some shorts for the next um, few, for the next two weeks, because I am embarking on a journey to become an egg donor. Um, over the last few months, well behind the scenes, I've been having loads of different appointments and we, um, started this at the end of last year and now we've come to the menstrual cycle where I will have my eggs taken out and uh, frozen to give to somebody else. Um, so lots of people always ask me why do you want to be an egg donor? Well my somebody really really close to me, I'm not going to say who they are, um, has fertility issues and um, I promised her a very very long time ago, probably like 15 plus years ago, that if she ever needed anyone to have a baby for her or if she ever needed um eggs that I would do that for her that I would um be pregnant for her and or I would give her my eggs or I would do do it for her since then obviously I've had my own babies and um I got really really sick in all of my pregnancies I had hypermesis gravidarum and for those of you who know the Duchess of Cambridge <laughs> not know her personally obviously um she had the same thing everyone goes oh that's what Duchess Kate had like yeah that's what Kate had <laughs> I had it first, just saying. <laughs> um, and it meant that it's not really safe for me to have any more pregnancies, which is why we are pursuing another way of having another child for ourselves. Um, so obviously me being a surrogate for someone is not something that um, I would be able to do anymore, but I'd always had this um, goal in mind that I would donate eggs. And then at the time, this person said to me, oh, you know, I don't think that's something I'm going to pursue. And I was like, oh, well, maybe I should just donate them to someone else, just to a stranger then, because it's really important to me. And I'd already committed in my heart. I'd already had this call that was really strong and really loud that I should do this. And, um, and I'd already committed in my heart to do it. And I was like, well, I'll just do it for a stranger. It's still, still amazing. still a great thing to do. Which brings us to, brings us to now, brings us these videos. I've had genetic testing, I've had several blood tests, and I have really tiny veins, so that was a bit of a pain in the bum. Um, I've had um, several scans, all to check my, just my general pelvic region, everything, all of my reproductive organs. And obviously I've had three children of my own, um, so I know that it all works. <laughs> it's all good. Um, and all of those genetic tests and scans and everything all came back normal, everything was fine and they just had to wait for an available slot uh, for me to start my treatment and that is now um, and I did say to the clinic that I'm just going to vlog this um, I'm not going to be mentioning anything about the clinic or which clinic it is, there are several in my local area that, could, that I could be using um, but I won't be saying who they are or doing any footage from inside the clinic, it is just vlogs um, so I'm gonna, this is my introduction video and uh, you will see some daily videos now, just some short reels um, about this long of um, my journey and how I'm feeling and things like that. I really want to do this for myself so I can look back on it in years to come, so my children can look back on it in years to come, um, but also so if there's anyone who is about to go through IVF or is thinking about it or is thinking about becoming an egg donor or is about to go through the egg donation process or anything like that, um, then you can come along with me and see what's in store because the journey is, is the same up to this point, up to the egg collection point, it's very similar um, and pretty much the same for egg donations and people who are going through IVF. So you'll get a bit of a, a, bit of a, um, you know, a bit of a preview of what you've got ahead for you. Um, the only other thing uh, I wanted to say was um, if you are about to go through the IVF process or you're about to receive donor eggs or you're thinking about the fact that you may need to, I just want you to know that throughout this process it's you that's keeping me going, it's you when I've kind of gone, oh, mm, is this the right thing to do? Um, it's you, it's you that I keep in my heart and um, I picture holding your babies and um, and the person in my life who has fertility struggles, um, it's you as well. You are, I know you're watching and I know that um, you know that I'm thinking about you throughout this whole thing. Um, and without you, I wouldn't be doing this for somebody else. So that's really, really special. Um, 
When I left my clinic the other day uh, for my scan, I saw a couple who had just come out for their 12 week scan. And um, I remember how amazing that felt um, when I saw my babies. Um, 12 week scans. In fact, there's one of them who stood right here. Come here, Lessie. This was one of the results of my 12 week scans, my now seven year old. Mwah. Thank you. Um, and um, they were so full of joy and so happy. And I was just like, oh, I'm going to keep your faces tucked away in my heart for this whole next few pro the next process. And um, it just made me think, you know, I, I'm hoping that my eggs will go on and help someone get maybe a kid who looks a little bit like her. Um, and just an amazing, amazing little girl, amazing little boy um, in their lives who they love as much as I love my children. So, uh, thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow for my first day of treatment. Bye. Hello, editing Emma here. Um, if you are one of the six people who viewed this video, when it popped when it popped up earlier i just want to say whoops sorry that was the wrong link um and if you saw it shh, it's a secret no one's meant to know about that yet